What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Survival with Fragger. So today I really want to start off this episode by saying thank you guys so much for the support on the last episode. At the time of recording this, it is currently sitting at a hundred views and it's only been out for a few days, so it is performing incredibly well and I greatly appreciate everybody who's watched that video and who has subscribed from it. And if you're watching this video right now and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Anyway, we need to get into this episode because I kind of have a lot planned. Well, it's not really that I have a lot planned. It's just that what I do have planned for today is going to take a very long time. So as you can see, uh, we are going to be dealing with villagers today, which is going to be a pain in and of itself. But we are also going to be making, first off, a villager breeder so that we can get a bunch of those. And then we are going to be making an iron farm, which also involves villagers. And we are also going to be making a villager trading hall, which these two are going to go hand in hand. And I'll explain that a little bit more once we get around to actually making the iron farm. So to start off this episode, we are going to be making the villager breeder. And for that, we need to go over to the village which is just over here it is right there as you can see off in the distance so we need to go over there and make a villager breeder and so i am going to gather up all the materials that we need for that right now and then we can go build it up Okay, so I am here just outside of the village and I'm going to build up our villager breeder right here. So I need to clear out a little space here. And then for this, we are going to build up a few blocks and create a little platform here. And then we are actually going to fill this in with a bunch of beds. And that guy just spawned in and he doesn't have anything useful and you are just going to be annoying so so this is just a floor of beds and then we are just going to bring this up like so so the adult villagers will not be able to walk through this but the baby villagers will and we cannot forget to light this up anyway so now this main breeding chamber is done and we can move on to the collection system so the baby villagers are going to end up falling down here and I am going to dig out a little trench here just like this and then to help guide them in I'm just going to build up these walls here and actually on this outside rim I think I'm going to put in some glass so that we can see them floating around in here but we can start doing the uh, water streams now so I'm going to have that going there and then I'm going to take this sign here and put another one there and do that and that'll take us all the way to there and this is where the villagers are going to collect. The babies might get stuck down here but then when they grow into adults they'll keep moving along hopefully and yeah that is the basic design of this villager breeder. Uh, I do still need to do some stuff to finish it off. Uh, but I need to get some more materials for that. But now we can move on to the fun part, which is going to be getting villagers up here, which is actually not going to be that fun. So, yeah. Okay, so now I have this rail going all the way over to our villager breeder there. And then we just need to lure in a villager here. That's all we need to do now. I am going to try using a boat i think i think that'll be the easiest to try and lure him over to this area now the good thing about this is we only need two of them we don't need more than that and i'm gonna try to get this guy right here 
Nope, nope, nope. I am going to, whoops. I'm gonna break that so that he loses interest in his trades there. And hopefully he will walk out of that door and go into the boat. I'm actually gonna try this. Yep, okay, there we go. Actually, oh, that's so annoying because it's on the path block, it won't go up that half block. Or it's actually not even a half block, it's just one pixel. Okay. And we've got two guys in here. Now I'm actually going to place that down. Okay, can we get one of you to go into this boat, please? Thank you. Oh my god. This is what I'm talking about when I say villagers are incredibly difficult. Just immediately walks right into the other boat. I just need one of you in this boat and then the other one in that boat. Thank you. Thank you for finally listening to me. And now this guy, we're gonna have to make this a little bit wider and then we can just ride this all the way down to here just like that, that is perfect. And then I'm gonna build a building around here so he doesn't escape. And then we're going to break the boat, place the minecart, push him in, nope, nope, okay. And actually I should probably, oh, please do not escape. I should probably get that and we'll push it back into him. Okay, perfect, perfect. And he should be on his way to the villager breeder. And we'll follow him just to make sure he gets there safely. And then I'll also break some of the track here so he doesn't bounce back. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. I need to nudge him over the edge so he lands on the beds. There we go. So now we just need to get one more guy. And he is already over there waiting for us in a boat. All right, so hopefully this one will be just as straightforward as the last guy was. Okay, there we go. We'll block that off and that off and then place in the minecart there. And please walk straight into the minecart. Please, please, no. Okay, there we go. It took a little bit of damage there, but he should be fine. All right, and then, oh, no, 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 oh, come on. There you go. All right, so that is it for the villagers. All we need to do now is give them food, specifically like carrots and potatoes and that kind of stuff, and then they should start making babies. So I currently don't have any carrots or potatoes grown up, so I will have to get some of those going and i will also need to clean this mess up hopefully that is all the villagers we will need i did light everything up around here so we shouldn't have any issues with mob spawning but yeah uh, i'm gonna do all of that really quick and then when we come back hopefully we'll have a few baby villagers grown up here and we can start working on the iron farm So this villager breeder has been working pretty well. Uh, as you can see, we've got a few villagers in here. Some of them are fully grown and there is one more baby in there. But as you can see, I do have this rail going off over here. So if we come over here, I already have a few villagers in here that I took from the villager breeder and I've turn them into librarians and they each have a trade this guy's got mending for 16 emeralds and i've already locked in all of their trades this one's got silk touch and this guy has feather falling but then i also have this rail going off over here and if we check this area out as you can see i've got a zombie right here and some boats 
And so we're going to do some zombie converting stuff to get their trades even lower than where they are right now. Which I believe you have to convert them five times, I want to say, in order to lock in their lower trade. So anyway, we're going to come in here and yoink a villager. And I forgot my minecarts, so I will be right back really quick. Okay, so I've got my minecart now. And actually, we're probably going to have to push it in here. Is it going to pick anybody up, please? Can one of you guys walk into it? We are going to try something else here. Okay, that guy got in. Okay, so we have this guy now. And we're just going to push him off over here. And we are going to... I don't know if we're going to get them in the boats over here or what we're going to do with them. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what would be easiest. I, I honestly have absolutely no idea what I'm doing because this is the first time I've ever done this zombie conversion thing with villagers. I usually just get their trades and then deal with the higher trades. Okay, so I thought I had a lever here. Did I not? And I can just make another one. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, so now I think we can let this guy go. So I'm going to do that. And the zombie, can you please attack the villagers? Please attack the villagers. Okay. So they're all converted. And now I want to try and get the regular zombie separated okay there we go and this is good because then i can just go like that and then these guys should convert back into villagers after a while i don't remember exactly how long it takes but they will convert and their trades will be lower and then we just have to do it a couple more times after that and that should lock in their lower trades so while that is going on, why don't we start planning out where the iron farm is going to go? Okay, so the iron farm is going to go up here and there will be a little hallway running through here. And for this iron farm, we will actually be able to trade with all of the villagers that are part of it. Now we also, We'll have to half slab everything around here because if we don't, then the iron golems will be able to spawn pretty much anywhere where there's not a half slab. So that is kind of annoying. Uh, and we only want them to spawn inside of their spawning chambers. But for this hallway here, we are going to make it... Okay, those guys just uh, converted. Uh, anyway, for this hallway here, we are going to make it, I think... I think six wide should be good. Yeah, so this wide because in the middle here, there will be uh, at least two zombies. Uh, so the way this is going to work is there will be four iron spawning locations down on this level here. And then later on, I will probably do a second level up top, a little bit further up there. And we'll have four more up there. And each spawning chamber will have three villagers associated with it. And we will, like I said, be able to trade with each of the villagers. Let's put our first three villagers here. Okay, so it'll be like this. So we have one villager here, one here, and then one here. And then the zombie, we will put about here-ish. And we will also have him lifted up a bit so that the villagers can get a good look at him because the villagers do need to see this zombie in order to be scared of it. And the villagers need to be scared in order to spawn an iron golem. There will be a bed here that they will be able to access. And then here, there will actually be a lectern on this level for all three of these villagers, because these guys will be the librarian villagers. Uh, and then on the other side of this actually, is where the spawning chamber 
where the iron golem is going to go. And this iron golem spawning chamber is going to be eight by eight blocks. Okay, so we've got this eight by eight room that is about five blocks tall. And then for the actual collection of the iron golems, we're gonna dig two extra blocks this way and then dig a two deep trench. And there is water right there. That is going to be quite annoying to deal with. Okay, so now we have the eight by eight room there and then this two wide trench here and then they will get pushed this way. Anyway, they'll get pushed this way and then they will go down and hopefully we won't run into any more water here. And now I just need to do a lot of work to make this look good. And I also need to work on the collection system. Then we can start getting everything put in here with the villagers and the zombie here. And this guy can start working and producing iron for us. Okay, so this guy is built up a little bit more. And we are actually now ready to put our villagers in here and get our zombie so that we can start producing some iron. Once we have three villagers here scared by a zombie, they will spawn an iron golem in this spawn chamber. And then the iron golems will fall into this water stream here and then they will then fall into that lava where they will die. And then there's a water stream down there that will take the drops, bring them up through this pipe. And then this will come out over here and it will go into this array of chests but now it is time to get the villagers and put them in their three chambers here and i already set up the rail system and this goes all the way over to where we were doing the villager converting so these are the three villagers that i have i have converted them five times i believe and now we've got some really good trades here but anyway we need to get these guys moving so i am going to break that and please go into the minecart please thank you okay and now we are just going to push this guy and we're probably gonna have to remove this door here to get him through there we go and then we need to follow him all the way back to make sure he makes it there safely. Okay, I kind of lost him there, but hopefully he made it all the way to the end and is doing just fine, which he should be right here. Yes, he is. And now if we break this, no, please go down. Oh, anyway, can we get you to fall down into the hole, please? Okay, can you please... Please, thank you, thank you, okay. So what I need from you guys is for one of you to get into the minecart and the other one to get into the other boat, please. Thank you, and then can you get into the minecart? Thank you, okay, so we got this guy here now and please, no, no, please walk into the hole there. Okay, I'm gonna try blocking this off and maybe that'll help. Okay, please. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so the last two went relatively smoothly. Could you please go just as smoothly? Please and thank you. And there is number three. And we'll put this in. Can you please go in there? Thank you. Okay. There are our three villagers. They are completely installed in their trading posts. And now all we need to do to get iron going is uh, we need to put a zombie right here. And all I'm going to do for that is go off into the caves here and try to get a zombie to follow me all the way back. Okay, here are a couple of zombies. Please follow me. Uh, we only need one of them. If we can get both of them, that's fine. Uh, I also want to see if they'll pick up an item. If not, okay, one of them did, good. I was gonna say, if not, I have a name tag. Now, if one of you could get into this really nice looking boat here, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. 
And we already have an iron golem in there. He actually spawned in the wall there. Interesting. I don't think that's supposed to happen. He should eventually get like out of that wall. Yep, he did. Okay. And sometimes they can get stuck there. I don't know why. But they will eventually fall down. And this guy should fall into the lava soon. Maybe. Just like that. And then the drops should end up going through this pipe. So let me check and see if it ended up in the collection system here. Yes, it did actually. Okay, uh, that is a very good sign. And of course we can still access all of their trades. And I did test this. They should refresh their trades. I don't know why that guy is laying like that. They should refresh their trades even though they're scared by the zombie. So all of this should still work. And this is all of the iron we've gotten so far. It's literally only been running for like maybe, maybe five minutes. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. I don't know how that happened. Maybe there is enough room here for the iron golem to spawn, which they're not supposed to. I also don't know how I'm going to get rid of that iron golem. Anyway, I'll figure this stuff out and I'll also probably make this place look a little bit nicer and potentially even get another one of the spawning chambers done. Okay, so everything is fixed now, and I also moved some stuff around. So as you can see, the collection system for the iron is over here now, and we have gotten quite a bit of iron. And then if we come over here to where the villagers are, as you can see, we now have three villager modules completely filled in. So we've got our librarians on this side. And then over here, we also have some farmers, which we do need to get a few more farmers for this side as well. All three of these should be functional. As you can see, we have two iron golems over here. And uh, this one, I haven't seen one spawn in here yet, but it is theoretically functional. Now, as for the trading, I have done quite a bit of that. We have a bunch of emeralds here, and we also have a bunch of Unbreaking 3 books, a bunch of Silk Touch books. I don't even know why I have this many. I probably won't even use all of these. Uh, and then we have a bunch of Protection books, a bunch of, well, we only have two Feather Falling, but we can get a bunch more. We have a bunch of sharpness books, and last but not least, we have a bunch of mending books. This is a ton of mending books. I don't know if I'll even need all of those. Now, I did add this little upstairs area here, but it is completely unfinished as of right now, and I am probably not going to touch it for a little while because we should have all of the villager trades that we need. I might put in some villagers up there in the meantime, but for right now, I'm probably just not going to touch it. Also, I don't know if you saw this when I was down here before, but the iron golem spawning chamber is right there. And I decided to put some glass there so that you can see inside of it. Obviously, you can't really see anything at this angle, but when you're further up, uh, you can actually see into it. And the reason why I moved this uh, storage area right here for the iron is because it was in the way of that spawning chamber when it was over here. So I did have to move that unfortunately, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. And also just to briefly mention, I did replace all of the bamboo in here with sugarcane. And so that is going so that we can get more paper for trading and all of the bamboo that we've gotten is over here now. But anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. We got a lot done. We've gotten a villager breeding setup and we also have villager trading now as well as an iron golem farm. And to be completely honest with you, I don't know if I've ever actually seen anybody do this where the villager trading hall doubles as their iron farm 
Uh, I'm sure it's probably been done before, but I personally have not seen anybody do this, so I think this is a pretty unique idea. But anyway, if you did enjoy this episode, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below if you have not already. And if you have any suggestions for this series or you just want to say hello, then please make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section. Also, don't forget to check out my social media linked down in the description. I don't normally advertise that, but I probably should start advertising that. So if you want to follow me on social media, all of those links are down in the description. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. So I will see you guys next time.